Why do Asian accents swap R's and L's? The short answer is, they don't. Not all Asian accents feature this tendency, and even in those that do, it's really a false perception caused by a mismatch in the phonetic inventories of English and the speaker's native language. Many Asian languages feature separate sounds that could reasonably be interpreted as English R's and L's, albeit pronounced slightly differently. In Mandarin Chinese, for example, these are separate phonemes, meaning that a Mandarin speaker is very unlikely to make such a swap. By contrast, even though Korean features both an R and an L sound, they are allophones, meaning they are two different pronunciations for the same phoneme. This is similar to how in English, a P can be pronounced with a lot of air, as in pin, or with very little air, as in spin but English speakers still consider them both to be the same P. While Koreans may mix up R's and L's, it's less to do with consistently swapping, and more to do with where it occurs in the syllable, whether it's in the onset or the coda, as well as the other consonants surrounding it. While not the only language to feature this, the R-L swapping is most strongly associated with Japanese, the reason being that Japanese does not contain any L or R sound, but rather a single sound that exists between them. English L is a lateral alveolar approximant. Lateral meaning that air moves around the tongue rather than over it. Alveolar meaning the tongue touches the kind of Klingon forehead part of the roof of your mouth. And approximate meaning it does not cause turbulent air. English R is a post-alveolar approximant, meaning it doesn't cause turbulent air, but it's articulated slightly farther back in the mouth, and the air moves over the tongue rather than around it. The Japanese sound is post-alveolar, like an R, but lateral, like an L. So an English speaker is likely to focus more on the incongruous parts and thus interpret it as the wrong letter.